having myself a little post-workout meal. Got some childbirth and rice with some Ortega. Oh wait, I mean chicken, chicken and rice. I just want to start off by saying I am the worst YouTuber in YouTube history. I really suck at getting footage up uh, or vlogging at all. I just tend not to do it that much anymore. But, but the trend will start again. I'm going to be vlogging quite a bit. I uh, got a little family vacation coming up beginning of June. Uh, actually, one of my uh, cousins is a YouTuber as well. Uh, so there will be tons of YouTube footage up, and uh, when that footage does come up, I will link her YouTube channel in the description box. Uh, hers is not fitness, she does uh, like dance routines and stuff. It's actually pretty cool. So uh, if you're interested, you guys can go ahead and check that out uh, when that time comes. Uh, this footage that I do have is from, I believe, last Monday, this one, and, uh, there's one more day in here, and it's just a few days ago, my next, uh, like, upper whatever day, uh, that I'm doing right now. So I'm doing incline dumbbell press here with 75-pound dumbbells, doing sets of, like, five to six, and I think I only got four on one of these sets, but, uh, for the most part, I hit five every time. I did three sets of five. And uh, and then I did an AMREP set, which I did not film. I believe I picked up the 60s and did like 10 or 15 reps. And uh, after that, I don't even really remember what I did. I didn't do a whole lot of filming. Uh, I did some accessory work, uh, back, shoulders, uh, and arms. Uh, I believe I did... Um, actually, I do. I do have footage of one of my back accessory movements. I've uh, really fallen in love with the uh, the low row, the hammer strength and low row. Instead of uh, doing dumbbell rows, like uh, off an inclined bench, I've uh, been using this one lately. Uh, I just I like it a little better. It's it's basically the the same thing. You can use one arm at a time, which is the the best thing about the hammer strike machines. Uh, so you guys are gonna see that footage right now, and uh, I'm actually looking pretty lean here. I've been dropping a little bit of weight. I was up to like 171, I think, at my heaviest, and uh, I was probably like 12, 13 percent body fat, which is really not that bad. But being that it's summer, right? Everybody's gotta have that summer body ready. Um, not that it really matters. Dead ass, though. No, I'm saying. Tush. Um, yeah, the whole thing doesn't really, I just like to stay naturally lean, um, at least in the summertime, just be, number one, it, it's pretty warm, and, uh, it tends to get pretty hot here in Jersey, so, um, I just like to have as minimal body fat as possible, so, uh, you know, I don't fucking get so damn hot. Winter, on the other hand, once it starts getting cold... That body fat's going up, probably right around 12, 13%. So we'll see, like 170, maybe 180. Who knows? Um, so this is my next day. And uh, this is a pretty cool hammer strength machine right here that uh, we have here at Alpha. It's an awesome gym that I can't say enough good things about. Uh, so I got two plates and a quarter on each side. And uh, you can see that I'm going all the way up. And then I'm bringing it all the way back down to the start position. And I'm taking a second, resetting my grip, and pushing the weight back up. Now, some people might say that it's stupid, but uh, I'm not really going for like hypertrophy here. I'm trying to work on the weakest part of my bench press, which is the uh, well, like the start position. If you're using dumbbells and or it would be pretty much anywhere, right? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. So I'm working on powering up out of the hole. And uh, so that hopefully, um, when I get back to my barbell bench pressing, if I do decide to, uh, which I really haven't, I might just try to get really strong at the flat dumbbell pressing, 
Uh, I mean, I'm not, I don't even know if I'm really going to wind up doing a powerlifting meet, so uh, I guess if I do decide to, I, I probably will go back to the barbell bench press, but um, I just really like lifting. I'm not sure if I really want to do it competitively. Um, I mean, I've had thoughts of bodybuilding shows in the near future, powerlifting meets in the near future, and uh, I think I just really just enjoy lifting and being a personal trainer and helping people to the best that I can, you know, get through, uh, you know, hard times in their life if, you know, they're overweight and they're just not happy with the way their body looks or they're super skinny or they're just, they're not overall happy and that's where I come in and, you know, help them at least feel better about themselves and then get them on the right track with their diet and then programming and uh, honestly the best part about that is when I see my clients smiling and thanking me for everything that, you know, I've done for them and really when it comes down to it I mean they really did it on their own I just gave them the tools that's all that I do as a personal trainer I write programs I stand there with them make sure they're doing everything right which is giving them tools to do it on their own you know when that time comes uh, and and the hardest part is the diet I mean anybody can go to the gym for half an hour 45 minutes an hour maybe even more you know and move some weight around and yes, yes, it does help. It definitely does get you into uh, a caloric deficit, which is necessary for weight loss and fat loss. But um, the the main thing, the hard part, is the diet. You know, as Americans, food is so readily available to us that at any time we can go eat something, even when we're not really hungry. And uh, that's that's the, that's the biggest problem right now. What's going on, guys? It's, uh, it's like 8.20 in the morning, been up since about 7, just enjoying myself a Granny Smith apple for breakfast, listening to some tunes, it's a good morning, it's actually pretty chilly outside, uh, today's going to be a rest day, tomorrow I go back and I do uh, legs again, and then, actually no, I haven't really decided yet, I want to do the last little bit of my split, but um, had a great time last night with my. Um, I was gonna bring the camera because I thought it would be uh, pretty cool, but uh, she would kill me. <laughs> uh, she knows I do YouTube, but um, can I even say that? I do. U I have like 17 subscribers. Whatever. So I, anyway, she knows I do YouTube, but um. Maybe I'll ease her into it. 